Hello everyone and welcome, it's Dawn here and today we're going to be carrying on with our theme of boats and harbours and we're going to paint a little rowing boat here and so I've done the surround for it so we're going to get going now with the actual boat and I'm going to start with the inside of the boat just in here. I have put bits that you can see of some oars sticking out and we'll deal with those in just a few moments but we will deal with the inside first because from this angle this inside will be darker so we'll cut around here sometimes when you've done all the drawing in as much detail as I've done mine it's a bit difficult to see where the lines are or more to the point what they are but you get there you just sort of keep going round and hope for the best really well that's what I'm doing anyway as my older brother says, winging it as usual. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wing it and hope for the best. We'll soon find out whether it's going to look like a boat when we finish. And because it's darker and obviously not as much light getting in there, we're going to leave it unblended. Just like that. And what we are going to do is we're going to take a darker brown. This is a burnt umber, but any dark brown you've got in your range will be fine. And we are going to put these struts in because this is a strutted boat, if that's the right word, made with planks. It probably isn't the right word, but I'm sure you know what I mean. And so we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do, you won't see much of that part, so we won't worry too much about it. We've got a lighter colour. This is a yellow ochre, but again, you use whatever you've got. And we're going to use that for the seat there. You can't really see much of the other seat because it's being covered by the oars, but it's just about possible that you might see some of it. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to do these oars now, what you can see of them. You can see a little bit of the paddle end of that oar in there. So we'll make a start on that one. And you can see it going through the loop, or the rollocks, as they're called. So we'll, we'll spare any rude jokes about that one, but they are called rollocks. I'm reliably informed. So that comes out there like that. And there is another one coming out, because obviously there's a pair of oars. And that one is coming out there, just above the boat. So we'll have that one coming down and that will be under there. You won't see too much of it. So you don't have to be too precise at this stage. And for that part, that will do. And hopefully it will all make sense by the time we finish. And around this top part here, I am going to put a bit of colour on the top. And I'm going to do a dark red. Now you can do any colour you like. When you do your paintings, you use whatever colour scheme you personally like. I like a nice bright red, especially with a brown. I always think they go together well. So that's what I'm going to do. But you use your own colours. That'll be fine. Or of course, if you want to use a red, that's fine too. So we're going to just go across there and do that top edge. We'll get to these bits in a minute. And we'll just carry on over there, just for a bit, and this bit at the back. So we'll do that, and then we'll get on with painting the main body of the boat. So we'll put that up there for now. And so far we haven't used any water on this boat, but in the next little section we will, and in all the other sections I think, we, we will blend them with water especially to get this nice wood grainy effect. That's a new technical term, of course, wood grainy effect. So we'll do that bit first, and then we'll do the main body of the boat down here. And we will do the reflections as well. So that'll all come eventually. It won't be too long in coming. So we're going to do that here, just shade along there, if you're doing a bigger boat, it can be a bit laborious, especially in pencil, because of course it takes that much longer. But that's okay. Just stick with it. You'll be fine. It'll come right. And then we're going to take, I, again, I'm going to take a round brush, as I've done before on many of these paintings. And actually, I am going to just blend that out a little bit, just to get rid of some of those gaps, because I don't like them. 
So I am going to blend that just a little, just like that, that'll do. So, and then I'm going to come down here and do this bit here. And while that's still reasonably wet, we don't want it sopping wet. So while it's still reasonably wet, what we're going to do, we're going to put the wood slats in like this, where the boat is, or well, the slats of the boats are joined together. We're going to put that in while it's still fairly damp, just to make them fuse a bit better. And then we're going to do the same to the main body of the boat, or this side of the boat anyway. And so we're going to stroke round there like that with our brush, nice and simply, reasonably carefully. We don't want to go over the lines if we can possibly avoid it. But if we do, it's not the end of the world. So we'll wash out our brush. And again, we'll pick up our dark, our dark brown. Now, if you wanted to make this a painted boat, and for example, if you wanted to do it a blue or a red or whatever colour you prefer to do your boats, you would obviously paint the main colour, for example, if it was a blue, and then use a darker blue for these joins here. But I'm making mine a wood colour boat just to keep it simple. So you paint yours however you like to paint your boats. And I'm going to just stop there, I think, before we go too mad. And I'm going to take our middle brown again to paint these loops, or volux as they're called. And no giggles from the other side of the studio, please. That is what they're called. And so we're going to paint these in and we will leave this unblended. Or we'll leave it proud, as they say. And we're just going to fill that gap in there just a little bit more. So if you, if you see gaps that you're not too happy with, you can fiddle. It's okay to fiddle on this one. It's fine. So now what we're going to do is take our red pencil in this case. How are we doing? Oh, okay. And we're going to do the top bit round here just to finish this bit off. And we'll come across there like that. This one, because it's fairly detailed under this boat, I have, I have drawn it a little larger than I've intended to, which is why it's taking a bit longer. But the other reason is so that you can see the detail a bit better. If we make it a bit bigger, okay, it does make the video a little longer, but that's okay. But it makes it easier to see the detail that we're putting in here. So we're going to just finish off that line along there. Just make it all blend out like that. That's fine, we don't have to be too precise. And we've already got the shape of our boat now. So now what we're going to do, before we finish off, we're going to take the same brown that we used and we're going to do a reflection. And we'll imagine that that red, this top line here, is beyond the reflection. So we won't put that bit in. So that's okay, there are things, you can get around these things. So obviously that would be reflected down there. So you've got a nice reflection of your boat. And we're very nearly done. We're getting there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my blue and just shade over it a bit, over the reflection, just to blend it in so it doesn't look like it's painted on top. And that's fine. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my black pencil and from here, we're going to do a rope and it's going to be moored to this post here. And that's all we're going to do. And I'm going to have that trailing. It's a bit long, but never mind. And we're going to have that trailing along like that. And there is our boat with our reflections moored to a mooring post. So I hope that's helped you to paint your own rowing boats in your own landscapes. And please do join me the next time for another in our series of boats and harbour scenes. And in the meantime, please do stay safe, have fun with your painting and the rest of your day. Bye bye for now.